Hello, my name is Dr. Molly Manley. I'm a hand surgeon in Akron, Ohio. And today we're going to talk about the osteoagar bone harvesting system. So this comes in one small package with three devices. And this, this is the plunger to get the bone graft out of the auger, the quick connect, which is awesome because that way you don't have to chuck, as well as the osteoagar. This osteoagar comes in sizes of 6, 8, and 10 millimeters. Now, this cutting tip morselizes the bone as it's drilling, and that size is consistent with Cancellus chips. Now that the components are out of the package, we then assemble them. So you take the AO Quick Connect, connect it to the auger, and then you easily connect that to an AO drill. So the procedure to collect the bone graft, typically for all most upper extremity procedures, you use a tourniquet. And the technique I talk about going dorsal, uh, I'm a fan of using the incision that you've already created. So, for instance, if you are going a dorsal approach, you can use that. If otherwise, you can go into the radial styloid, and you can basically just use the incisions that you've already created. So, for the purpose of this demonstration, we will go dorsal. So, first, I start out by finding Lister's tubercle. We can easily kind of palpate here. And you go to just proximal to this, and you make an incision. Now, realistically, you can make this just the size of the osteoagar. For this demonstration, I'll make it slightly larger. After incising through skin, I then dissect down the extensor retinaculum. You can see that by the white structure, which is the extensor retinaculum. Once you see that, you want to divide the extensor retinaculum. You really do not want to drill through that because you can drill into one of the extensor tendons. After dividing that, you can take the tendons out of the way and then you're directly down onto the radius. We are going to be using the six millimeter osteoagar. So once you're down to bone, you make sure the tendons are out of the way. For the radius, oftentimes we do start off the bone because sometimes it can skive. For the osteoagar, you do not need to start with a pilot hole. You can if you would like to, but it is certainly not needed. And so when we start drilling, you start off bone so that it doesn't skive. And you can gently plunge into the radius, but you want to make sure you do not go through the volar or the opposite cortex, depending on where you are. Uh, because you don't want to violate both sides of the bone. Now, with that pass, you can do up to three passes before you disconnect the harvester and get your bone graft out of the shaft. So now that we made our passes, we are ready to disconnect the system and expel our bone graft. You can manually twist this apart. However, sometimes with the torque of the drill, this can be harder to disassemble. Therefore, you can take the plunger and actually place it in the hole on the osteoagar to use as a lever arm to help get leverage to open that up. And then we take the plunger to expel the graft. So you can easily place it in a tip and do it right over a sterile container to expel the graft from the shaft of the osteoagar. So if we were to look at this graft, you can see that it's all a very equal in consistency. And if you need more, you're able to take multiple passes like we discussed earlier.